Hey guys, it's Ben from Media to Play Games, and today I've got a new deck profile for you. I'm playing Mirror. Um, of course, this is with this new set three stuff. You know, we got it early, so I thought let's do deck profile. Um, I really like Mirror. He's a really strong leader for the format. Um, like he's like your light swans for like Yu-Gi-Oh, where he like mills and everything. So Mirror, 10k on this side, 15k on that side. I think all leaders are like that for this format. Um, so he's a black leader, his new leader, and all the new black leaders have like a milling ability, um, which really helped the warp out. So um, Mirror says, when this card attacks, if when this card attacks, place the top two cards of your deck into the drop area. Then, if there is a green or yellow in your drop area or battle area, draw one card. So it's like you don't really have to play a lot of draw support, so like to like push out your deck. Um, because it's just built into your leader and you'll get the like the, the the cards in your drop that are green or yellow just for like playing the deck out um and then on the other side uh you can choose to mill two instead of like like mandatory so he flips at four of course um and if you have five cards in the warp he gains critical um yeah, that ability doesn't actually come off a, off a lot like i don't play like a quick like uh, quick awakening build so it doesn't matter too much so I'm playing it tricolor. Um, I really like it tricolor. Um, of course, we have to play the green. It's a kind of a little bit of a small green engine, but it actually really works out with Create Android. And I'll get to that in a minute. So um, I play three Wishes Coercion. You know, best negate in the game, even with the new like stuff that came out. I was trying it with the um, like this speedy uh, speedy negate, where it's like you can drop a card and then um, pop something three or less in the field. I just didn't like it. Um, it like you want to use your negates late game, which is where coercion comes in. While you like most decks will just get to late game just because of being so yeah, three coercion. Um, I play three boo. I didn't want to play him at four, but just because like I want to put more like stuff into the green or stuff into the black. Um, so yeah, like playing three by itself is good. Like you're mainly like dropping all this late game anyways. Um, and three bean beans still too good. Like you know. Um, with androids, you know, being kind of big, like they'll just be able to like swarm you out and everything. Um, just keeping yourself at, like that little bit more advantage. Um, so we're playing the U 10k combo. Uh, it's called Supreme Kai Time. It's Supreme Kai of Time, World's Protector. Um, so they've had now super combo, so you can only have like four of like all the old 10k pumps. So all the new green ones and all all the new other colors, they have to use um, like they can't use both. So this is, if you have five cards in the warp, then you can use it. So you don't even have to be awake and you don't have to have four or less life. So it's, um, you know, play it and then draw a card, put 10k on. Um, I'm playing a bit of a degenerate build, as you can see. Um, it's a very, like, hand destruction build and, like, you know, milling your opponent out a bit. Um, so I play energy powered Gotenks. Um, if you don't know this card, you know, when it swings a leader, you can, uh, they have to drop a card from hand. So it's, like, going to really mill them down. Um, I really like it because it's only one green. Usually you're not actually playing a lot of green in your energy. Like most you want there is two. You kind of want the rest just black. Um, so yeah, just leave it, swing you with this down. Like just, even like defending with these is really good. Like um, like just keeping them on the field just so you can like keep pressuring your opponent. Of course we play Kale. Kale's still one of the best removal in the game. Um, especially with all the black cards because after they go to the warp, like, you know, you want it in the drop area, not the warp, so. Um, it also is like the extra draw support if you have to combo out everything early. So, um, Hidden Awakening Kale, uh, Critical, of course you're playing a lot of Critical in the deck, like with the Mirror and this as well. Um, it's an insane board removal. I play Create Android, and this is the reason why I think this deck really works. So Create Android says, um, activate main. If your leader card is an Android, which your leader is, um, Draw two cards, then place one card from your hand into the drop. So, if you go, like, first turn, like, you can mana one of these or something else. Um, play this, draw two cards, and then um, and then drop one card. So, this will go to the drop, and then another card will go to the drop. You swing with leader, you get the draw because this is in the, in the drop area. Um, and then, of course, you can go into your warp ability. So, you can, like, warp out a mirror, you can warp out a hidden awakening barter. Oh, like, an awakened warrior barter. So yeah, um, it's a very strong card for the deck. I'd never mana these, I'd always kind of keep them. Um, but yeah, um, I play Cell Absorption, something that can't be called Bloodlusted versus like Golden Freezer. Like I've tested against Golden Freezer, just using this is great. Um, Cell's Absorption, 
Um, it's a four mana, two green. When your opponent chooses, uh, when you activate main, your opponent chooses two cards from the hand and places them in the drop area. It's very strong. Um, like as you can see, we're playing a lot of like negging and everything. So yeah. Um, so we're going to the black now. Of course, you know this is the fun stuff. Um, we're still playing masks. Uh, Mask saying the mysterious warrior. Um, very good removal still. Like you can go hidden awakening kale or like this and then hidden awakening kale, removing like ten up to ten mana. Um, I'm playing Toa, space time, uh, space time unleashed. So this card is it's like the the searching for the deck. Um, it's like a Goku, but it, like there isn't really any good like evolve targets for it except for one. But I don't really like it, and it doesn't even search itself. Um, so this card reads. When you play this card, look at the top seven cards of your deck, choose up to one mirror or mass sane amongst them and add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So this will search like all your mirror pieces down here, but I'll also search this as well if you really need it. Um, of course, sometimes you really need an early game and sometimes like just having them there, like they're great. Usually I, um, uh, usually I, I like all mana these early because they don't really matter. Um, I play like the little, a little Bardock line because of this leader, when it awakens, it actually adds a card from warp to hand, rather than um, like drawing two, which is actually really strong. Because what will happen is like you'll mill one of these, and then it'll go to the warp, like because you use all your warp abilities. Um, so hidden warrior Bardock, um, it's an overwhelm for four, so you can overwhelm it out for four. Um, if you overwhelm it. Uh, it gains double strike for a turn. It isn't really that strong unless you're like really trying to push for game. Um, but the reason why you play it is because of the bar uh, because of the other Bardock. So it's Super Saiyan 3, Bardock, Power Unleashed. Um, it's a 5 cost. So when you walk these guys out, like they'll come onto the field for free. Then you can pay 5 energy to um, send this card to the walk and then this will stay on the field. So um, and that's the, the Xeno Evolve for it. Um, it's a triple strike, so it's really strong for like, pushing game down. People like to sit themselves at three life. Well, I think this format you should sit yourself at four because stuff like this. Um, and when this card comes into the play, when this card is a, when a card evolves into this card, if your leader is black, you may choose five cards into your warp and then place them into the drop area. If you do so, send all your opponent's black cards to the warp. So this card's really strong. Uh, just like being able to push for game, being able to like add it from mirror. Um, it's another like win condition that this deck has other than just like milling your opponent down and just wipes their entire board. Like doesn't go to the drop, goes to the board. Um, so it's and, and it's not even choose. So like with everything in this new format, there's a lot of things with barrier. Um, this will just go straight through barrier and just send all their stuff into the wall. Um, I really love the card. I play Relentless Destruction Mirror. It's a three warp. Um, when you play this card, your opponent has to drop a card from hand. So very strong card, especially with all the other like like hand destruction. Like just curving these out like as soon as you can, just so your opponent like has to drop, keep dropping cards. It's very strong. And then like sometimes I just like warp this out and then like not use the like not not swing with it. Just like play one card so they have to drop a card. Um, I'm playing three. From uh, Mirror from the Darkness, um, it's, it's still a really good target. Um, it's overall for four, of course, and when it comes into play, uh, it gains critical. So you swing with this, gain critical, but the real reason why you play the, like these guys is for Dimension Break and Mirror. Um, I really like this card, you know, curving this out in turn five is okay because you're, like, you're, like, you're going to do stuff to your opponent. And um, also the fact that uh, like, it's it's something you can do just because you play all the blue stuff. But usually, I get it out turn six and try and like push with this card. So this card reads: you, uh, it's five cost to evolve over one into these. So you like you send it to the wall. Um, it's double strike. When this card evolves into when a card evolves into this card, if you have five or more cards in your wall, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to the wall. So it's like removal by itself, but then it goes further. Um, then, if you have 10 or more cards in your warp, choose up to one of your opponent's energy and send it to the warp. So, like, it punishes you, like, leaders that, like, 
revolve around only having like one tapped mana. So like you'll see a lot of like Android players that will have just one untapped mana and um, like you can just punish him. Like sometimes like swinging with, like not swinging with this or not swinging with this and just evolving it straight away is beneficial. Like if they only have one blue mana untapped. Uh, the reason why is because uh, like they'll usually have a bean and like bean it out because they'll see something like this coming. Um, and yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Um, I really like Miro. I'm gonna keep testing him until I can find like the complete build that I like. I've seen a build where they play like um, Sand Carver, like the new green Sand Carver. Um, and I will we'll probably test that out after I try this um, hand destruction one out. And yeah, that's it for the video. Um, we're, you know, really trying to hit two, uh, 200 subscribers, you know, we're trying to pump out as much as we can, but like with all the stuff that we've got going on, we're like trying to get there. So if you guys could help us out, that would be great. Um, so yeah, leave a like on the uh, video. Tell me what you think about the deck. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Tell me if you think I'm right. And yeah, that's it for the video. See you guys in the next one.